Hey, what's up dudes? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Now, I want to talk about something very interesting today. I truly think a future killer could be being teased right now and could have been being teased as far back as Tome 8. Now, I don't think this is the next killer. I don't even think this is going to be chapter 23 or the next original killer after this. I don't think it's going to be that. I think this could be a year down the line at least, but I do think this could be a future killer in Dead by Daylight. All right, dudes, before we get completely into this video, yes, your boy got another sponsor. Look, I got to make sure I get through the month, okay? T uh, things are rough right now. Anyways, we got a sponsor from Dragon City. Dragon City is a free-to-play mobile game available on both Android and iOS. You can collect over a thousand different dragons and build your own dragon empire. Breed two dragons to get new ones, hatch them, and feed them to evolve. You can train your dragons and take them into battle in order to make them more powerful. There are different PvP modes that let you fight against your friends and challenge other dragon masters. Click the link in the description down below and get a special free reward of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold and 10 gems. Do note though dudes this reward will only be available for new users and only for seven days so make sure you click through that link and try this game out. Thank you to Dragon City but let's go ahead and jump into this one. Now, if you guys remember back to last week, I actually talked about this topic, and it seems to always fall on a sponsored video for some reason, but it was sparked by a DVD developer a week and a half to two weeks ago on the Q&A that happened, saying that never say never to more monster killers in Dead by Daylight. Now, their version of a monster killer is a little bit whack compared to our version of a monster killer. When we think of a monster killer, we think of a giant eight-legged spider, or something of that nature, a giant snake or something like that. So their view of a monster killer is a little skewered, but we talked about that there. And if you want to hear my full theory on other monster killers that I think come into the game, I'll leave a link to that right here. But the main thing I want to take away from that video is the spider killer aspect. Now we talked about this even further back, as far back as the Evan McMillan survivor theory, which got deconfirmed, that's apparently never going to happen in Dead by Daylight. But we talked about it as far back as there. Now, why has this re-sparked? Well, if you guys haven't seen in the new tome, in this tome, in the archives, in the leaked videos, there is another video referencing a spider. But this time it's a little bit different. I'm going to let that play for you guys. Watch this. If you'll notice in this video, it's tremendously different. This spider creature is tremendously different from the spider killer that we saw in the Evan McMillan video in Tome 8. How is it different? Well, now it's actually bipedal. It's bipedal, it's a standing killer, its mouth almost moves like Demogorgon, but it's a giant spider. Now, what am I getting at here? Well, this is the exact definition of basically what the DBD developers describe as a monster killer or a non-humanoid killer. So this is literally the definition of that. It's funny that they're teasing the spiders so hard and in all of these archives and everything. Most people would think, okay, well, we see it here, so it's not that likely to be a killer, right? Well, that's entirely wrong. And if you keep up with anything in the archives and what actually comes into the game from the archives, you'll know that. The Blight, Talbot Grimes, was teased almost a year, if not a year, before his actual release in Dead by Daylight. He was a very prominent figure in the archives and in the actual tome and archive story before he actually hit the game. He's also, interestingly enough, one of the only characters to canonically interact with any of the other killers in the game, so that's very interesting. And not to mention that this killer, this specific archive entry, actually connects to the Evan McMillan archive. If we take a look at the beginning of it again, we see all the little spiders running out at the Observer. This is actually what we saw 
saw at the end of the Tome 8 Evan McMillan archive video. We saw the giant spider die and all of the little spiders come rushing out. So this seems like a direct continuation of the Observer's story after he went to his little tower thing and read the comic book entry from another universe that was the direct replay repeat of the Survivor and Evan McMillan there. I would imagine we're going to continue to get little bits and pieces of the story as we go on, but I truly do feel like this is a tease for a future killer in Dead by Daylight. A lot of people for years have actually wanted a spider killer in this game. I've been completely down for a spider killer, but no one has ever thought that it could work the way it is. It could work the way that Tome 8 shows an eight-legged giant spider creature. And as much as I want to believe that they make it work like that, it doesn't seem like they're ever going to move away from the bipedal, normal power, diff different power, but same basis i don't think they're ever gonna move away from that unfortunately so them making this character a giant spider moving away from the giant spider into a giant bipedal almost demogorgon seeming spider it seems like the natural course of things to actually eventually add this character into the game as a killer now even though matthew cote did recently say that they never make a killer with the intention of replacing another and they were not going to make a killer with the intention of replacing the demogorgon this does seem like a very similar character design I would not be surprised if this character came out and did at least play a little bit similar to Demogorgon in some aspects. I do feel like this killer, and we will do a full concept video on this, I do feel like this killer will definitely have something to do with everything seen in the archive videos. The giant webbed up people or webbed up cocoons, maybe that could be the form of teleportation for that creature. And even the little spiders, maybe that plays a part into the power as well, as they are a part of this continuing story. They are directly what continues it. I think this is very interesting interesting and I definitely think this is going to be the Talbot Grimes part two of this killer being teased in the archive for about a year or so and then actually added into the game. But I do want you guys to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think this is plausible? Do you think this is what is happening right now? I, I love when games do this. I love that Dead by Daylight's already done this with uh, the Observer and Talbot Grimes and everything else. I love that aspect because it adds more to the character's backstory. We already know about them. They're already already a part of the lore, we're already interested in them, and then they add them into the game as a character in some way, shape, or form. So, I'm very interested in this. I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comments down below, but that is going to do it for this theory and this video, dudes. I really appreciate you guys, and I really appreciate my members as well. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Check the description down below for my stream schedule, how to become a member and get awesome rewards like emotes and access to different things while I'm streaming. My Twitter and Discord is also down there as well, so make sure you check all of that out but again that's gonna do it for me dudes thank you all so much for watching again my name is tootin i've been your host and i'll see you dudes in the fog peace out